Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I've got a pretty interesting story for a video for you guys today. Um, and that story is about a bodybuilder named Marius Doan, who is a South African bodybuilder um, that actually was diagnosed with stage five kidney failure, kind of his comeback to getting his health back, getting back in shape, not as a pro bodybuilder. He doesn't compete anymore. So I think this story serves as both a good cautionary tale and also as an inspirational story. Um, because number one, there are certain risks associated with becoming a pro bodybuilder um, and certain health issues that a pro bodybuilder could become more susceptible to, such as kidney failure or a heart attack, um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. Um, this is a positive story. He, not a pro bodybuilder physique, but he was able to get back into the gym and start living a healthy lifestyle again, uh, where he ended up passing away from this disease. So I do think it's a good uh, topic for a video especially considering the fact that Marius is only the age of 38 years old career in 2010 at the New York pro with the IFBB as a pro in the IFBB was in 2011 where he won the Tampa pro there. Tampa pro is a pretty good uh, open show and a pretty big show for to about 2016 and 2016 was actually when he was diagnosed with this stage five kidney disease. Now, early on in his career, after competing at the 2011 Mr. Olympia, that was when he first learned that he had some issues with his kidney. So he actually took a brief retirement between 2011 and 2016. Um, I believe until 2014 was when he made his comeback. So he took about three years off to try to solve and recover from the kidney issues that he was having in 2011. So you could make the argument that that comeback in 2014 was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, um, as far as the stage five kidney failure, because after 2016, when he was diagnosed with stage five kidney failure, the condition of his kidneys was rapidly declining at that point. Um, so it was a very, very fast downfall um, in 2016. Marius Dunn put up a post of his five month transformation. So at the beginning of the five months, he was able to take his physique from the physique that you see on the left to the physique that you see on the right. And he talks about how bad of shape he was in and how he was in a wheelchair. He's got a very strict diet. He can pick up his son with one hand. Um, he's strong again and he's, his health is back. Nick Strength and Power signing out. I need to make a comment on a video I saw the other day from Nick's strength and power. Nick is a great guy and he's doing an incredible service. As a medical expert in this field of how steroids can destroy the body's health, I want to talk to you about what I think is going on here. This man uh, was a young man and he used anabolic steroids, we assume, for many years in addition to high levels of protein, probably non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and he ended up over time in what we call end-stage kidney disease. Please, if you're going to use steroids, you need to know this. This happens. Anabolic steroids with susceptible men for focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, FSGS, and kidney disease with genetics that it's lurking. And I've diagnosed many men in the pre-stages of this right now. He received care and probably has received a transplanted kidney and now he appears to be healthy again. Okay, so this man most likely has a transplanted kidney, almost 100% guaranteed, and he's living on a multitude of drugs for anti-rejection medications. And I want it to be known that it looked like the way Nick presented it, and again, Nick, you're doing a great job. You're not a doctor, that's fine. It appears that this guy does steroids, he crashes and burns, he looks horrible, and then the last picture, he's not back to the bodybuilding shape, and it's interesting, but he looks pretty good, and looks like he's probably back on TRT at least, or he's looking pretty healthy. I wanna give this warning that it's not that easy this wasn't some transformation that this guy started doing something or saw a doctor and all of a sudden that he's healthy again. This man suffered. This man went through horrific means and he has a transplanted kidney. Do you want that? Please be careful. Please be careful. If you do steroids, it may lead to more and more steroids and you may end up damaging your kidneys or your heart. I really hope this helps. Thank you so much.